Investing in NEO and mental health is usually not a good thing to be honest. Uh, I've been investing in NEO for a while now and you can see that actually the stock started to rebound uh, at the end of the summer. And then in the last, let's say, three or four weeks, most of those gains are gone. So we are back uh, fighting between 10.5 and, and 11. And today it looks good. In the pre-market we are up 2.5%. So yeah, it's been uh, not so that easy. But uh, the most important thing for us this week is actually the earnings report tomorrow. So the earnings will be released tomorrow before the market open. And we can see the consensus in terms of earnings per share is actually at let's say decrease compared to last uh, last earnings so this is not good numbers but again we have the market is aware of that the second quarter won't be good and this is basically based on the delivery numbers we can see that the first quarter of 2023 neo delivered roughly 31000 uh, cars but then you can see that in the monthly delivery numbers here that uh, in april may was not really looking that good especially with the factory retooling in june we started to rebound but we didn't see the complete uh, rebound before july so july is the, actually the first really good month which is also one of the best months ever if not the best in terms of delivery numbers but yeah so looking at the earnings that's going to be released tomorrow those three months of april through june didn't have good delivery numbers Hence why the market is expecting quite a not so good looking earnings report tomorrow. But again, everything won't be depending on the actual reporting tomorrow. I think the most important thing is the guidance for the next quarter. And uh, that should look much, much better than uh, the second quarter. So you can see here that my own estimate is above 60,000 units delivered. And we can see that in July they delivered 20,000 cars, 20,462 to be exact. And then my own estimates before that was 18,000. So they managed to actually surpass that, which is really good sign. And then we can see my own estimates was 20,000 for August. And we have seen that as of the first three weeks of August, we have right now 11,700 regist registrations of uh, cars for, for uh, in the Chinese market. And you have to be honest that the numbers that you'll see here, so all these numbers for each working week and number of cars um, registered are different than number of cars delivered. So there is a difference between the official registrations and how many cars will be delivered, which is the actual important number. And that delta between those two numbers is usually 10-15%. You can see that july's registration ended at seventeen thousand one hundred or thereabouts but then the delivery ended up at twenty thousand four hundred and sixty two so they actually managed to deliver more than three thousand cars more than the registration number so yeah assuming that we'll have another five or six thousand maybe even seven thousand cars registered and added to this eleven thousand seven hundred we will probably beat the july number in terms of registry and if we beat the july number in registry numbers then probably we most likely will also break it in terms of the actual deliveries so maybe i should increase this uh, uh, column here from twenty thousand to let's say twenty three thousand or something so for the uh, yeah for the complete quarter three so basically in july august and september I mean, if we are lucky, maybe we'll even be able to push 70,000 cars. Hence why the tomorrow's earnings support is really important to focus on their, uh, their outlook for the next next coming quarter. So not the one that's going to be reported tomorrow, but let's say the one that's going to be reported three months from tomorrow. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that. And also one important thing tomorrow also happening is actually the weekly registration numbers going to be... Mm, public tomorrow and we will probably hopefully we'll see about four and a half thousand my my optimism is that probably that we will end up in at least five thousand just to see that we are keeping pace with july and week 30 where uh, new delivered or sorry registered five thousand four hundred uh, units so everything else equal nothing big is happening totally i guess the yeah the stock price hasn't been doing that great on the past three four weeks but the past three four months has been good so probably 
together with the rest of the market this is just uh, yeah normal you know we've been after all going from let's say seven dollars to 15 almost 16 us dollar in short span of time so you would always at some point expect some sort of cutback in the near term in order to gather more momentum and then push for higher and i don't expect that uh, we will end up there at these levels my my own estimation is is that maybe by let's say december month maybe if we look at these numbers here that we have here if i mean if the december delivery numbers will be close to let's say 28 30000 i mean god knows maybe even more than 30000 seeing that we are already beating my own expected numbers in uh, in july and probably august so if we see above uh, 28000 most likely 30000 then maybe this company is just simply too undervalued on the market at 19 billion us dollar of market cap for a company that is having a run rate of car deliveries for let's say uh, assuming 30000 per month it's probably close to 400000 cars delivered for 2024 if the demand is there but at least they have the capability to deliver 400000 cars but if the demand is there for 2024 then yeah this company is quite really interesting to be honest 20 billion 19 billion us dollar market cap you could easily see this thing to go at least 60 70 80 billion which would be the close to the previous all-time high last time so yeah and uh, finally just to yeah look at some other uh, macro stuff we can see that tesla had to cut the price on the model s and model x six uh, percent in china so this might have some effect on NIO's uh, uh, selling price and capability and uh, how the customers are going to value these uh, Tesla models compared to the NIO models, especially due to the recent price cuts again. But yeah, I mean, this is that something that everyone has to consider, not only NIO, XPeng and Liauto and even the German auto manufacturers. So nothing to be worried about. The only important thing is in my opinion just follow the weekly deliveries and if they manage to increase steadily week on week and month on month then we are in a good spot so thank you for watching the video please like and subscribe and write down your comments if there's anything i can improve upon and see you in the next one